Welcome back! Today using some fabric, some batting, and some ribbon, we're going to be learning to sew a tablet sleeve. So as you see, the front of my tablet sleeve is actually a wordle quilt that I had made, and I will be sure to link the little short that I made on how to do this that has the full description so that you can learn to make it yourself if you're interested in doing that. Otherwise, you'll just need a piece of fabric um, for the front that will be the size of your tablet. Maybe a little, you want to be about two inches larger on either side, as well as a piece of fabric that is the same size for the back. In addition, we're going to be basting our batting to our lining, as well as sewing a straight seam down the front and back pieces of fabric. Each sewing machine varies where you can do this, but to baste, you just want to max out the size of your stitch. So since this was two different pieces of fabric, I did press the seam open so that it would lay flat. So now that I have both the front of my tablet sleeve as well as the lining, I'm going to match them with right sides together and pin this up all the way around, except I'm going to leave one side open. Once it's all pinned up, I can go ahead and take a seam. So now that it's all sewn, I'm just going to trim the sides that I did sew up so that I don't have as much of that extra bulk of fabric. And then I'll do three, two, one, and I'm going to turn this right side out and I'll be able to move on to the next step. So I will let you know a little secret. I actually was not gonna use ribbon at the beginning and then I changed my mind about halfway through. So to do this, I am gonna have to use a seam ripper to take out a few stitches. So if you are smarter than me, you could probably leave those open to begin with. The way I'm gonna do this though is fold in the fabric on the one edge that I did not sew up. And then I'm gonna cut out four pieces of ribbon, each about 10 inches long, and then pin two to each side of the fabric. So here you can see I have the ribbon pinned, and then I've done this for both the front and the back of the tablet sleeve. And then I'm just gonna take a seam across both of those edges to close them off. So now the last step we have to do is close up the sides of our tablet sleeve. So I've been really liking lately when I have quilted fabric or fabric that has batting in it and I have no raw edges, just taking a straight seam up the side. So instead of folding this in on itself and then kind of doing it normally how you would do like where you would sew with right sides together, I'm actually gonna be sewing this with the wrong sides together and just taking two straight seams on either side. And here is my completed tablet sleeve. So as you can see, you kind of get that fun little peak of the lining fabric, which I think is a really fun touch. And the inside really matches everything so nicely that it's like this pop of color. So now I'm gonna be able to put my tablet right in and it will be nice and protected. If you wanna see more of these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.